I'm Matt with COTG. I want to show you how to fax on a 3635. Come on in. First things first, on the services home screen, I'm going to press the fax button. Then all I have to do is put my document in the document feeder face up. All I have to do then is using the number keypad, type in whatever phone number I want to fax to. Remember, if you have to dial 9 or 1 to dial out, you have to do the same when you fax. But to keep it real basic, you load the document, type in your number, and then you press that big green start button on the lower right-hand corner of the control panel. Now, if you want to send multiple faxes and you don't want to wait for the fax to go through to be able to send your next one, there is a program next job button on the upper right that will let you resend a fax to another number without having to wait for the previous one. But all in all, that's basically how you send a fax through the Xerox. Now what I want to do is show you how to set up an address book for commonly faxed numbers. So on the user interface in the fax screen, I'm going to press the little blue address book. It's on the right hand side. What I can do is look through the list. Now I do have a couple open ones, they're blank. So all I do is I press one cell that's open and I press edit details. So what this is going to do is let me type in the name of who I want to fax to as well as what the fax number is. So when I press the name field, it allows me to type in whatever I want it to be. So I type in my name and press save on the upper right. Then to type in the fax number, I press the fax number field and type in the number using the keypad on the right. Remember, if you have to dial 9 or 1, dial that number as well. But that's basically it. When I press save on the upper right, that number will be saved in that address field. So finally, we're going to start to use those stored numbers that we just saved in the fax address book. So on the 3635, there's two ways to use that stored number, that, that speed dial. I can either go to the address book, press the name I want to fax, and then press add to recipients from the menu that gets pulled up then simply press the big green start button on the right hand side. Now that's one way to do it. Now one thing you'll notice too is in the address book there are numbers, speed dial numbers, next to my names. 000, 001, so on and so forth as we go down the line. So what I can do instead of having to access the address book on the uh, lower right hand corner is I can actually press speed dial. You'll notice it right next to the, the blue field. If I press speed dial, blue check will appear I'll type in my speed dial, say 000, or we'll say 001, and that'll pull up the, the speed dial that I want. Then all I have to do is load my document and press start. One key thing that you'll notice is if I start dialing my speed dial before I press the speed dial box, nothing pops up. It thinks I'm dialing a number. So for the speed dial, all I have to do is press it so it turns uh, with the blue check type in my number, and then press start. But all in all, those are the ways that I can access that address book, either through speed dial or the actual address book, to send those faxes that I've saved.